politics and food. Devrat, why don't you start? How do you see this election in Tripura? Is it a game-changing election? BJP's main issue of the last five years have been, you know, development and, uh, you know, it's... Um, Implementation of central government policies, a host of this slew of this policy that is implementing here, you know, say drinking water projects, development and infrastructure, and all these things. So it's basically going to the election again on development issue. The so BJP is saying compare our five years with the left's 25 years. Exactly, exactly. So over these uh, last uh, 25 years of consecutive left rule, the BJP's main allegation was underdevelopment, corruption, hooliganism, all the political violence. What for you is different about this election to pra past elections in Tripura? What is so different this time? The different, I would say, of course, the Tipra Motha. The Tipra Motha is a party which emerged in the uh, uh, Tipura's politics as a kingmaker, I would say. So are you saying that the left's vote has not been hit, it's just that the Congress vote bank shifted en masse to the BJP? Well, see, all parties' vote base more or less shifted. But certainly, yeah, BJP's swell was mainly due to the Congress shift. Uh, but BJP is now claiming that it, had, it did have an organic growth in the last five years. It is yet to be seen how much it actually happened. Basically, this election is divided on two points. I would like to say in BJP's side is development, and opposition's perspective is basically whether people will be able to come out and vote freely or not. But what is the status, what is the big issue you think? Is it this political violence? Is it this demand for a separate state or greater autonomy for the tribal areas? Is it development as the BJP understands it? Is it that you have an alliance this time between the left and the Congress which for the longest time were enemies? Is it an unholy alliance just to keep the BJP out? Well, I think it's a little bit of all of these. You see, uh, Congress and uh, the CPIM and Congress have been the only rival parties in Tripura all this time. BJP never had a real presence actually before 2018 in, in that major political kind of sense. So yeah, Congress and the Communists have been at, you know, loggerheads all this time and suddenly you see before the elections these two parties come together and Tripura's election in 2023 will be something like nobody has ever seen before. Why I'm saying this is particularly because the nomination submission process was over, scrutiny was over, withdrawal process was over and even then neither the ruling side nor the opposition side could actually figure out which party is going with how many seats. And perhaps this is where, you know, uh, Pradyot Kishore's Tipra Motha comes in because Pradyot Kishore has been basically saying that he wants to change the culture of politics in Tripura. He has been saying Tripura has had a lot of violence. It has been having, you know, uh, hooliganism, political murders and all these things. So he basically says his whole issue has been Thansa, which is... Uh, unit in the Kokburok dialect, Kokburok is the lingua franca of most of Tripura's 19 tribal communities and he's also been saying a change of political culture and the main issue of Pradyot Kishore's Tipra land, I mean um, the Tipra Motha party is Greater Tipra land which is a proposed state for people of Tripura, he says Tipra Sa, in Kokburok Tipra Sa means tribals but also means people of Tripura so basically Pradyot is trying to garner the support of non-tribals as well here. Okay, one other interesting point, Mamta Banerjee. Uh, you know, there was a lot of talk over the last 10 years, she's going to target Tripura, she's attempted it. Not quite worked, no? Where is Didi? In the last civic elections in Tripura, Trinamool did a very good result. They came out with 16.39% vote share. But suddenly after that, they focused on Goa, they started focusing on Manipur. And the shift from Tripura may be less a bit. And, and Megala, Megala, yeah. Yes. So their focus shifted a little bit, I, I must say. You know, wonderful. So politics is undergoing an evolution and so is food. That's why we call the show Elections on My Plate. Thank you very much for giving me a quick Thank you. understanding of your wonderful state and uh, for your hospitality. And I'm going to hit the road in a moment once I've finished my aludom. Mm, too good. For 20 rupees, where will you get this? I'm going to have another one. <laughs> Come on.